He's just playing low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's open. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome back to King of Hearts Final Mix, everybody. It's Mario Man 2100, and we're back. And I uh, did go and get that last rare nut in um, 100 Acre Wood. Um, there's apparently geysers uh, that make it a lot easier to get those uh, two really bad spotted uh, rare nuts. <laughs> the one at the, the log and the one that's in the the tree. Apparently there's some geysers that you can jump on um, by jumping on some fake uh, fake stumps. So we jumped up on there, um, got a little bit more equipment and stuff like that uh, as you saw but we also got you know, things like uh, where are we? Magic arm like I uh, synthesize and that sort of thing. Um, grind it a little bit, as you can see, I'm level 48 now. Um, and I'm going to change to. Okay, I'm going to change to Lady Luck just before we go into the boss fight. So, we're at level 48 now, which is a bit, a bit nicer to look at. Um, Thank you. 
Why, Scoopy? Holy shit. I didn't even notice he was that far down on the elf. It looked like he had like half a bar, but yeah, Goofy was just like, he just absolutely blocked. Alright. 3,000. So, we won't level up by the time we get up to the boss, which is fine. I think when we beat the boss, uh, we'll level up. I might just get enough experience from it. Because I, I did this off screen, I did some grinding off screen that got some wizards. Um, one of the wizards actually hit me with the thunder while I was out uh, taking care of another one. So it's nice to come in close. Yes, it has invincibility frames and you look like an absolute idiot for, for hitting it. But they only have invincibility frames for only so long and then you can take it out. Yeah, I love the aesthetic of the uh, Alabashes, I think it's fantastic. It's one of the worlds I absolutely love with the boat. I like, love like, the little elevators.
upgraded forms of arrow actually do damage now. I don't know whether it was because it was just frames or what have you. But uh, we're gonna swap out now. Need to lady like the keyblade. Because I think it might help with this. Wait, look at look at that. Look at that MP bar. <laughs> look at that MP bar. It's fucking huge. <laughs> So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. So yeah, so Riku uh, now has his own people. Impossible! Keyboard. The princesses of heart are all here! It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. So yeah, so Kari is one of the princesses of heart. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. So yes, I'm not sure what the blue ore is there for. But yeah. Look at that MP bar. I think that's called seven or eight. Eight. Can't count, apparently. Huge. <laughs> they I'm HP bar can be a whole lot bigger. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! Okay, so against Maleficent. Be careful here. Yeah. Thank you, Donald. Getting further away from the attack. 
attack would actually be a lot better. Didn't even know the platform was that far down. Good job, Goofy. being that close. They can dodge roll out of the way. But yeah, being that far away, uh, she will hit us with thunder if she can. Though I love the voice actress for Maleficent, I'm pretty sure it's the same one from Sleeping Beauty, and I absolutely love her because she can go absolutely nuts with it, and I love it for that. down to probably about 800 <laughs> points of experience left. So yeah, so Maleficent runs away. Donald Lurch here, which is good, and it's I keep saying secret report, but it's just report. And yeah, so the Castle Chapel has a save point. Usually when there's a boss, usually means one thing. It's a big point coming up. <laughs> big boss fight. Having epi haste for I was thinking Goofy like Goofy doesn't have magic, so what would be the point? But um, put cheer on as well. Have I got anything? No, I still got one. Yeah, look, leveled up. Goofy's got heaps, but the Goofy's on fifty. Uh, yeah, this next boss fight is going to be a bit interesting because uh, this can be a block. Like, this can be a huge wall. <laughs> so, yeah, so we run after Maleficent. For some reason, Riku's here. some help? Riku! A strike? Yes, a Keyblade. But unlike yours, this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! No. I love that. That's one thing I will now, say about this cutscene that I really do like. Is that it's it basically darkness. it's instantaneous. Become darkness and yeah, you itself. could say that's PS2 technology. But even if it was like in like PS4 technology, like if it was a cutscene... Darkness. From uh, like something like the Kingdom Hearts 3 engine, I would hope that they would 
have like the same effect where it was just like, ah oh, yeah, and then stab in the neck or in the heart. So yeah. So the Dragon Maleficent. This boss fight can take a while.
that only just put me over the edge. Basically dead. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating and, away like, at her. That's basically one plot twist. A fitting end for such a fool. So it's like, oh yeah, Maleficent, you know, like the big baddie that we had this entire time? Yeah, um... She was being used by the Heartless the entire time. It's like one of those plot twists that are just... It's not... It's not something that... I mean, I get it. But... You know, it's not really a plot twist. Like, it, you don't see it coming. But yeah, we got Fire Glow. Which, uh, yeah, we're gonna go all the way back to Travis for for this. Believe it or not, that's actually our last summon gem. I completely forgot about this one, and I don't know why why it did, because this is one of the best summons in the game. Mushu! Yeah, since we got all uh, all the summon gems, Donald gets another um, staff. It looks like they use like the shooting star, the morning star, as a basis, but it. So it raises the strength is not as strong, but it raises the magic up to seven. Well, I'm going to use it. Now, it might not be as powerful, but... I don't mind. Give something... Give something good to, to Donald once in a while. Donald deserves it. Because <laughs> he's been... He's been clutch in some areas, I will admit. Going from like 50 plus in terms of level can be difficult. Oh yeah, we can fall down this area. This is like one of the only areas where it has like the the dual level. For some reason, I, I don't know why. It's, uh, Another boss fight, and oh boy, I'm going right in the fire. So we should have a bubble that, that says, "Like, oh, Jasmine, oh, here's Alice." But yeah, you know how I was talking about Riku battle number one earlier on. Well, uh, remember that I said that there was a harder version of the fight? Kyrie. Kyrie. Unfortunately, Kyrie. we're Open at that eyes. point now. It's no use. Shut up, Silva. <laughs> that girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You, you're not 
Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last Princess of Heart still sleeps. The Princess? Kairi's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go! Give him back his heart! But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. And plot Kyrie? twist number two. Kyrie's inside me. Oh God. I know all the there is to know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me, who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. <laughs> so, I shall release you now, Princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Smile doesn't work well with the slow maker. <laughs> So we get the first, uh, first listen to this, this uh, boss fight theme. We can get a lot of checkpoints here. Now, of course, remember we're back to Kingdom Hearts 1, like, not Final Mix. Um, we didn't have sliding dash and things like that, so this boss fight was a lot harder. You leave right now. That was very careless. Thank you, Leaf Racer, once again. I love like the little quotes like Welcome Oblivion, like that type of thing is kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that, that attack shit hurt. Especially in level 1 runs, I have seen this, this boss fight really hurt with that. Jesus Christ. I just really didn't want to use my MP. Yeah, so we can glide over that, I will say. It is one of those attacks where you can glide over it. Oh, my God. 
Take place. No. Ah, damn it. I knew it. I knew it once I got hit by that fucking attack. I'm like, yep, I'm going to get hit by the spy here. Yeah.